Hi, I'm Tori and I'm with Provo Dental Care and I'm going to be giving you the educational tip of the week. Um, today we're going to be discussing the difference between amalgam fillings versus composite fillings. Now amalgam fillings, sometimes people know those as like the silver fillings, a lot of people have them in their mouths, things like that. Um, about amalgam fillings, they tend to expand and contract a lot. So say you eat something hot and then you take a sip of a cold drink of water. Um, your tooth is going to expand and contract because of that filling and then that creates cracks in your teeth which in the long run will result in a crown. So um, that's one thing about them. Another thing is they have mercury in them which isn't the greatest for our system so um, we'd like to get that out of there as soon as we can. It's not the best. And another thing is bacteria can slide underneath of those amalgam fillings and as you can imagine create a lot of decay in your tooth, things like that. Um, so a better alternative to the amalgam fillings is a composite filling or sometimes just the white filling that looks like a tooth. Um, these are really great because they create a really good bond to your tooth, meaning that the, the uh, bacteria can't get underneath and can't create a lot of decay, kind of like it does with the amalgam. So that's a really good benefit. Obviously it's a lot more aesthetically pleasing. They look great. If you didn't know, then you would never know. If you looked inside someone's mouth, you'd never know if they had a cavity filled or anything like that because it looks just like your tooth. Um, it, it also doesn't expand or contract, so you don't get a lot of that cracking like you would with the amalgam fillings. Um, so it's a really good alternative, and so if you're thinking maybe you have a couple of silver or amalgam fillings in your mouth that you want to have replaced, we'd love to see it. Come on in and we can replace them for you. Thanks! Have a good day!